Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.14 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine the output voltage V0. V0 is here in the circuit of figure 5.53. Okay, maybe let's take a note first about an op M. So if we have an ideal op M, there will be some properties that will be very helpful to solve this problem. Okay, let's draw the op M first. And this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal and this is the output terminal. If we have this as not A and we have this as not B, we will have the first thing that we need to remember is VA will equal to VB. And then the second properties to remember is just this. If we have the current that goes into the op M, let's name this IA and let's name this IB, both of them will equal to zero. So we will have IA equal IB and both of them will equal to zero. Okay, and now what can we do from here? Okay, we have our ground here, so we will have the voltage here is equal to zero. And let's name this node here as node A, so we will have VA here, and then this node here as VB. Okay. And let's assume the direction of the current. Oh, no, one more. So this is V0, right? So this is also V0. Let's assume the current direction. So I want this to going down. I want this goes to the right. I want this goes to the right. And I want this to go down. Okay. And Remember that the voltage in both terminal of the op M is the same. One of them is connected to the ground. So we know exactly VA is, which is VA is equal to zero. Right? VA is equal to zero volt. That is from the properties of ideal op M. That both terminal have the same voltage here. Okay, that's good. Now let's do KCL at VA. Okay, let's do KCL at VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the current that goes out. Okay. Okay, maybe one more current here. The current that goes in is from this and from that. Okay, from this, we will have V0 minus VA, V0 minus VA, divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. And then, this one here, I will have VB minus VA, so we will have VB minus VA, divided by the resistance between them, that will be 20 and then the current that goes out is that goes into the op m and that will be equal to zero because the second properties of ideal op m so we will have zero here okay let's multiply both sides by 20 right and 10 and 20 will cancel into 2 so i will have 2 v0 minus 2 va and then plus 20 and 20 will cancel each other. So I will have VB here minus VA and that will equal to zero. Okay. And remember that VA is zero. So this will be equal to zero and then this will be equal to zero. So we will have 2 V0 plus VB is equal to zero or pb is equal to minus two v zero and i think we cannot do anything more from here let's have this as equation number one okay now let's do another kcl but this time at pb 
right so i just follow this current here okay let's label that so we want to do kcl at pb and kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the only current that goes in is this 2 milliampere, so I will have 2 on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side, I will have Vb divided by 5. Vb minus 0 is just Vb, and the resistance between them is 5. Okay, this is the first term. The second term here, I will have Vb minus Va, but Va is 0, so we will have Vb only on the numerator and divided by the resistance between them which is 20 so i will have 20 here and so we will have plus we will have vb minus v0 so we'll have vb minus v0 divided by 10 okay we can multiply both sides by 20 okay 2 multiplied by 20 is just 40 and then 5 multiplied by 20 is 4, so I will have 4 Vb. And then plus, we will have Vb here, and we will have 2 Vb minus V0. Okay, 4 plus 1 plus 2, that will be 5 Vb, right? 5 Vb minus, oh not 5, 5 plus 2 that will be 7 7 pb okay we will have 7 pb and then minus v0 is equal to 40 okay let's save this as equation number 2 okay we have Equa two equation and two variables and i think we can solve this by substitution right let's clean up the board first okay so far we have this two equation and two variables we can substitute one into two right substitute one two two Okay, 7 vb but vb is minus 2 v0 so i will have 7 multiplied by minus 2 v0 and then minus v0 minus v0 i think oh this should be should be 2 v0 right because 10 and 2 okay that will be 2 yeah i think there's something wrong here so we'll have 2 here so 7 multiplied by minus 2 v0 and this is 2 v0 and that will equal to 40, right so we will have minus 14 v0 and then minus 2 v0 that will equal to 14 and we will have minus 16 v0 that equal to or V0 is just minus 40 divided by 16. Yeah, I think we can divide both sides by 8, right? So I will have minus 5 over 2. So let's save our calculator from this time. So I'll have minus 2.54 from here. And I think that is the final answer for this question. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.